Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bijan. Behind me I have my 2018 Ram 2500. I wanted to give you guys a quick preview of the Thurin base kit that's going to be coming out for these trucks. And if you don't already know, Thurin uh, has designed a kit that's going to fix the OEM geometry, which was messed up on these trucks. When you're taking them off-road, um, putting them in sand, silt, snow, you're getting a lot of axle hop in that up and down movement. And pretty much Donna Thurn Suspension as well as the other affiliated parties have really designed a kit that helps eliminate that. And I have one of the four prototype suspension kits on my 2018 in conjunction with the Carly kit. So I can tell you that it works with the Carly stuff. And I just wanted to show you guys around the kit because you know, there's not a lot of people who have seen this and we're, this is going to be a super raw authentic video. We're just going to be walking around talking about different brackets and what the links look like and some of the install stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to give a huge shout out to CJC Off-Road for making this happen. And without further ado, let's go take a look at what this thing looks like. So as I said, this is a rear suspension kit. So we're going to have on the base kit, we're going to have this new uh, upper, we'll call it upper bracket. And we're going to have a lower bracket that's new. Shock is still on the OEM axle mounts. Hasn't been cut off or anything, but there is the bracket that's uh, attached to the shock mount as well. So giving it some extra stability, it almost looks like. We're going to crawl under there in just a second. But, I mean, the main thing that was trying to be fixed is the angle of this lower arm, right? So normally, um, it would come off the axle and it'd be an aggressive angle. So drop in this down has pretty much helped eliminate most of the uh, axle hop, pretty much if not all. I haven't experienced any axle hop um, since I put this kit on. There is also a new upper arm as well. You can see those uh, new Zerk fittings up there. So the all of the arms are greasable. So that's a good thing for future reference. It's all bolt-on too. There's no welding or cutting involved. Um, but I mean, every truck is a little bit different uh, when it comes to model years. So this will, I've verified it works on a 2018. It's being tested on all other years as well that have coil sprung rears. Really like this bottom part right here. This is a huge skid plate. It's awesome. I haven't nailed it on anything yet, but uh, pretty much this will be a nice skid plate as well as the bottom over there will be a skid plate as well. We're gonna crawl under here, take a little bit closer of a look about what's going on. But as you can tell, it's pretty much utilizing all the factory points to get this thing mounted. Um, the install, I can't comment on too much because CJC did it, which is awesome. But I mean, it's technically all bolt on. And of course, knowing third and they're gonna have a set of instructions out uh, this entire lower section, lower bracket, is absolute beef as well. That should be noted. Uh, this entire piece right here is added on. And um, we're still utilizing the OEM top mount for the, uh, the upper link. But lower link is the one that's being moved. So shocks still again bolt in same place this is providing support to the shock mount as well i guess it's probably going to shear off uh, a lot less easily as it was before <laughs> normally i hear about people ripping off their rear shocks but this should definitely do it some good um and again i'm using the carly pin top 2.5 shocks uh well it's a three and a quarter inch kit but these are king 2.5s and everything cycled beautifully had no issues as well and you'll see these things right here so these are shims um, there are some gaps that come, uh, they'll just come like different in model years is the best way I can explain it. So you'll have to shim it accordingly. So you can see this side has two shims right here. We flip and look at the other side. Give me one second. As I crawl over. This side's shimmed a little bit differently. Um, it required a couple more spacers and they provide you these spacers and tell them, tell you to use it. Uh, pretty much just fill in the gap so i'm sure that maybe in future production models things will be changed a little bit here and there but for the most part i mean this thing still bolted up uh, and had no clearance issues other than that i mean 
what I can say is having it as a daily driver, the wag that was in my truck is pretty much non-existent now. Wag, I mean ass end of the truck, uh, kind of jittering around. I haven't experienced too much wag, if any at all, ever since installing this. It's really smoothened out the whole truck itself. I mean, it dries like butter now. Um, very, very stable and smooth ride. Give you guys a little closer view of these things. But um, other than that, I mean, this is one of those icing on the cake modifications for people. Uh, if you have already done everything else and then you've decided, you know what, I just really want to get rid of that axle hop that I experienced in sand, snow, silt, just like powdery uh, conditions. This is pretty much the only thing that's out there in the market to get rid of that. And again, I'm using a, I have a Thurn rear track bar as well. And with the base kit plus the Thurn rear track bar, this thing is, again, butter. I freaking love it. That's the best way I can put it. Um, so who do I think this is for? Again, I mean, like, you've already done everything else on your truck. You've done all the other suspension components, and you're looking for that last piece to solve the puzzle. Puzzle, not puzzle. This would be it. I also want to mention... Um, since there are those shim spacers, you can see maybe maybe not, but my left side is a little bit crooked in comparison to my right side. You'll notice it a little bit more when I scoot back here. As you can see, hopefully all my DPF stuff isn't in the way. But uh, you see that left side's a little bit slanted. I was talking with Thurin, it's nothing to be worried about, works just fine as it is. Um, it's just literally visual. So I'm sure as they come out and they come out with instructions, people will be able to get them set up a little bit better than maybe I have it set up, but again, it's just bolts. So, couldn't be too hard in general. Again, this kit is gonna be one of two kits. This is the base kit, which utilizes 2.5 inch shocks. They also, I believe, have something called a Predator kit that's coming out. They like these alien names, I see. But uh, the Predator kit is gonna have uh, the shock mounting I think the shock that they have mounts somewhere, I don't know, I forgot. It, it's some weird, oh, some like outboard mount or something like that. And then the shock is actually going to go into the arm instead of going into <laughs> this axle mount. So that's going to be for the people who want to boogie and use a 3.0 setup. They're going to probably go with those bigger shocks. It's going to mount in the arm, and I believe it's outboard. I totally forgot, but overall, man... I can only say positive things about this suspension setup. It's a prototype still, but I got no complaints. It's been working super, super well on my truck, and I figure that it's probably going to work well on everybody else's once they start getting them produced out to market. I mean, with the Carly arms in the front and the third in the rear, it looks baller. It's a, it's a big boy truck now, so just wanted to bring this video for you guys, show you guys what's up, what's popping, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.